So this arrived last week, and so did some candy. Okay, so I partnered with uh, Sweetwater to try out the Earthworks SR314 microphone. Some of you may have seen this on Instagram and heard a sneak peek of the song I recorded with it. This mic makes some interesting claims. It says it reduces or eliminates the need for corrective EQ, heavy compression, de-essing, and constant vigilance against feedback. So, to test it, I did what anyone would. I sang a hollow note song with multiple layers of harmonies, and today we'll test Earthworks claims, and I'll share five tips for mixing and recording harmonies in your songs with any mic. So a bunch of you asked me some questions about this mic. So here's a quick rundown. The SR13 is a condenser microphone that focuses on live vocals. Live, that means minimal processing, right? We'll see what that sounds like. The frequency response is from 20 hertz to 30 kilohertz, and it has a cardioid pattern. It looks so cool, and it feels really high quality. It comes in this stainless steel or black. Here are my vocals recorded without any effects, just this mic. No compression, no EQ. Easy, ready, willing, over time. Where does it stop? What do you dare me to draw the line? You got the body, now you want my soul. Don't even think about it, no say no go. I mean, I like the way I sound. That's what's most important. Now, there were a couple spots in my vocal recording that jumped out a bit in volume, and a little compression doesn't hurt. Where does it stop? What do you dare me to draw the line? You've got the body, now you want my soul. I played around with EQ, and in the end, I decided I didn't need it. I like the way this mic sounds with my voice without any EQ. I usually have a problem with other microphones in the lower mid section. There's a boominess that I always have to remove with EQ. I didn't have to do that with this mic. If you have a similar problem with your voice, this mic may help you. I did add some delay to the vocals, which makes it sit in the mix a little bit better. Check it out. You've got the body, now you want my soul. Don't even think about it, no say no go. Yeah. I could have stopped there, but I wanted more. So I recorded a few more takes and then applied some cool tricks for creating lush background harmonies. Harmonies are not easy for everyone to sing, so I'll show you how I did it without actually singing the harmonies. Let's listen to the bridge where most of the harmonies are. I'll, I'll do anything that you want me to, yeah. You want me to, yeah. The first thing I did was record another vocal take to add a higher pitched version of the lead vocal. And here's the first tip. Don't just copy the same vocal take. Do another take, even if it's not perfect. That ensures that the harmonies actually sound more like other people singing with you. I then raise the pitch of the second vocal recording by 12 semitones, one octave. Hopefully your DAW has a formant shifter so that you don't sound like a chipmunk. If you're a female vocalist, try pitching it down instead of up. Next, I added a stereo widener. It sends those high-pitched vocals to the far sides of the mix. I, I'll do anything that you want me to, yeah. This separates the background vocals 
from the lead vocal, your lead should sit right in the middle. It's like a lead singer on stage. They're usually right in the middle of the band. The widener I used on the background vocals was created using my stock Ableton Delay plugin. You can see how I did it in a video up here. You can also use other plugins to widen your vocals. I'll show you another one in just a sec. Next, I added some harmonies by adjusting the key of the vocals. Same vocal, just recorded once more, and then pitched in a complementary way. You'll see uh, I adjusted it down four semitones and some of them I'll down do three. Anything that you want me to, yeah, I'll do almost anything. You may have to experiment a bit here, go higher or go lower. If you don't know what notes you should be singing, examine the chords you're playing and choose another note in that chord that's supporting that section of the song. This time, to widen the vocals, I used Microshift to send them over to the sides. Hey, if you're learning something, hit the like button and leave a comment below if you've got your own vocal harmony recording tips. The fifth tip is using a special plugin for creating vocoder type effects or something like Ovox by Waves. I'm adding it to the vocals where I'm singing oh, oh, oh. Check it out. Ovox is an easy way for me to create a chord type of harmony based on the chords played by my keyboard. This is an easy way to get harmonies. You don't have to sing them, just have Ovox do the harmonizing for you. Now, Ovox lets you create some crazy sounding stuff, but I prefer it for more mellow results. Finally, I send all my background vocals to a reverb so that they sound a little further away and it creates a lush vocal sound. That's it. You'll notice that I didn't add compressors to any of the background vocals. I didn't really need them with the Earthworks mic. If you're looking for a mic, especially if you sing live and maybe if you have a voice like mine, this is a great choice. You'll hear more stuff I've recorded with this mic in the near future. If you've got a question about harmonizing vocals or about this mic, leave it in the comments below. Keep making the music you love and I'll see you guys later. Soon